Oh my God. What? Where did you get that from? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Yeah, there's a journey there, isn't there? I don't know. <laughs> I would choose some that they, I didn't want them to see. When people see me, I think my hair comes first and then my face after. I don't think there would be any redhead who's escaped being teased at some point. I think if anything happened to my hair, I think I would be devastated. Like I say, I feel like it's part of me. Because I, you know, my hair started going grey when I was 17 and I didn't want to look like an old woman. After so long of, of you know, hiding the greyness and dyeing it to look sort of natural again, my statement now is embrace your greyness and uh, actually it can be quite fun in the process. I think I spent so much of my youth being shy, painfully shy. We lived in a house with no mirrors. I think it was 11 before I actually saw myself in a mirror. Confidence built slowly over years. My hair was a way of expressing myself when I couldn't do it verbally. I think the deciding factor was when I joined the airline. And I think having a uniform, your makeup done and your hair done gives you that confidence as well. I've been on an emotional roller coaster. I think if you want to have a child and you aren't able to have a birth child, say, uh, there is a sadness. We adopted a child and it's almost like going from black and white to colour. It's the only way I can describe it. And I feel that this hair now sort of matches that because I'm sort of on show now because I'm his mum. I would. I, I wouldn't care now, actually. I am happy with who I am now. And if your hair feels good and looks good, it's really important. And I know it's important to most of my friends. Yeah, why not? My relationship with my hair has evolved as my relationship with myself has, really. And I think that's what I'm seeing in the story here. <laughs> they all tell a really great story and reflect how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, I would stand proud. It's funny because I used to want everything so elaborate. When I got older, I just wanted to strip it all back and I don't need a mask. I don't need to have such elaborate hairstyles. I can just be myself. I feel more comfortable in who I am now. So you can hopefully just see me with my hair on top. <laughs> I don't mind. I, it's my history, isn't it? It's a little bit like a quest, one that I can see myself being on for quite a while.